known as cell organelles. The cell organelles play the same role in a cell which organs play in the body of a plant or an animal. The cytoplasm is semi-liquid in nature and occupies a major part of the cell within the cell membrane. It appears colorless, partly transparent as well as watery. All the cell organelles are found embedded in the cytoplasm. Let us take a look at them. The first cell organelle, the endoplasmic reticulum, ER, is so fine in nature that it can be seen only through an electron microscope. The endoplasmic reticulum is seen as an irregular network of double membrane system made of cystin A distributed over the cytoplasm. The endoplasmic reticulum is connected to the cell membrane at its outer end and to the nuclear membrane at the inner end. The endoplasmic reticulum forms a supporting framework of the cell and serves as a pathway for the distribution of materials from one part of the cell to the other. The endoplasmic reticulum appears rough with ribosomes attached to it and smooth without them. Thus, when ribosomes are attached on the surface of the cystine, the endoplasmic reticulum, ER, is called rough endoplasmic reticulum or granular endoplasmic reticulum. However, in the absence of the ribosomes, it is called smooth or agranular endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth ER is mainly concerned with lipid synthesis. That is, it passes on the synthesized lipids to the Golgi complex. It also makes steroids, some of which are hormones. Rough ER concerned with processing and transport of proteins synthesized by the ribosomes attached to it. The second cell organelle is a group of numerous small granules known as ribosomes. Ribosomes are either scattered freely in the cytoplasm or attached to the membranes of the endoplasmic reticulum. They are also known as the factories for the synthesis of proteins. The third cell organelle is a group of several spherical rod-shaped or thread-like bodies known as the mitochondria. The mitochondria are minute, double-walled bags with inner walls turned into finger-like processes, projecting inwards known as Christi. They happen to be one of the largest cell organelles. The size, shape and number of the mitochondria vary in different cells and different organisms depending on the energy requirement. The length of the mitochondria ranges from 1.5 to 10 micrometers, while its width ranges from 0.25 to 1 micrometers. Its diameter is about 1 micrometer. Each mitochondrion is bounded by a double membrane envelope. Inside is a matrix that contains free ribosomes. DNA molecules and several enzymes. In between the two membranes is an intermembrane space. Mitochondria are the sites where cell respiration takes place. Here, the special breakdown product of glucose, that is pyruvic acid, gets further broken down in the presence of oxygen to release energy. This energy, stored in the form of an energy-rich compound known as adenosine triphosphate or ATP, is used in various metabolic functions of the cell as well as the body. Because of its significance, mitochondria 
are known as powerhouses of the cell. The fourth cell organelle, Golgi apparatus, occurs in the form of granules, filaments or rods originated from the endoplasmic reticulum. It is a stack of very small, short and flattened membrane-bound sacs known as vesicles. Vesicles are of varied shapes and are generally located near the nucleus. The main function of the Golgi apparatus is secretion, that is, carrying proteins as well as enzymes to different destinations. Vesicles are responsible for the cell plate formation during the process of cell division seen in plants. It may also secrete carbohydrates in plants or mucin, that is, mucus in animals. The fifth cell organelle is a group of small vesicles of different shapes known as lysosomes, which contain certain digestive enzymes. The enzymes destroy and digest foreign substances around them, including bacteria, and thus bring about intracellular digestion of any organic matter. They also digest stored food during starvation of the cell. Hence, they are also called digestive bags. Lysosomes bring about the disintegration of worn out organelles and damaged cells. Hence, lysosomes are also called suicidal bags. Another cell organelle called the centrosome, found only in an animal cell, is a clear aerial cytoplasm close to the nucleus from which spindle fibers develop during cell division. The centrosome contains two centrioles which are short bundles of microfilaments and are at right angles to each other. The cell organelle called plastids are found only in plant cells. These are special organelles that appear in different shapes, oval, spherical, as well as disc shaped. Depending on the color, plastids are classified as leucoplasts, chromoplasts and chloroplasts. Leucoplasts are colorless plastids that lack pigment and store starch. Cells of a potato have lots of leucoplasts in them. Chromoplasts are varied colored plastids, yellow, orange, as well as red. They are generally found in the petals of flowers and in fruits. The coloring substance or pigments associated with them are xanthophyll, which is yellow in color and carotene, which is orange-red in color. Some coloring pigments, such as blue, violet, and purple, are not associated with plastids. Instead, they remain dissolved in the cell sap and give that color to the plant structure. These pigments are called anthocyanins. Chloroplasts are green-colored plastids and contain a green-colored pigment called chlorophyll. Chloroplasts are abundant in parts exposed to light. Example, leaves. The function of chloroplasts is to trap solar energy and absorb carbon dioxide for the manufacture of sugar during the process of photosynthesis. Chloroplasts contain DNA and have the ability to divide. Raw tomatoes and unripe chilies are green due to the presence of chlorophyll. However, during ripening, the chlorophyll degenerates and the mask red carotene takes over. <laughs>